hi guys and welcome back in this video we will be adding groups to our active directory in the previous video you will remember we did add four new users to our active directory as seen above the first groups to be added are it department help desk system admin employees and hr We are going to log into our Windows Server. Again, we go to Tools, then Users and Computers. You will know that we have two types of icons. We have a single person icon and we got a two people icon. The single person icon represent the user and the two people icon represent the group. We are going to go ahead and add two more users. So we simply do that by right clicking on users, then new, and then click on user. Then we will type in HR lady. And then our login name is just simply gonna be HR. Then we, we enter the password. We're going to do the same thing with the second user finance lady was the name and now we will proceed to add the groups right click on users and click on new and click on groups and enter the group name we're going to make it it department that's our first group then we're going to leave everything as is and then we just click finish and the same thing for the next group as you can see the group is already there now the same thing for the second group we'll call this one help desk the third group we'll call it system admins then the fourth group is HR. And the fifth group is employees. Now we are going to add users to our groups. The first group will be employees. You simply double click on the group and you will note that under members it's currently empty so we're simply going to add by clicking on add and then you're going to type in the name of the user you can check the name this will give you all the matching um, the results so you pick the one you want so you just click on ok now we go back again and we add the second user we're going to go with the user one tier one Again, a shortcut, check names, it will autofill the user, then click OK. Uh, and then there's a second option for adding a user to a group. You simply go to the user, right click on the user, and then click on add to group, add to a group, and then type in the name of that group. So it's going to be employees, or you can do the check name, and as you can see, the user was successfully added to the to the to the group now we we'll go back to our employee group and you can see we have three users now we add the fourth one by simply tapping in the name i'm going to do the, the the same for the rest of these users Now, as you can see, we have all our users added to our employees group. If you go to a user, double click, it will give you the following 
tabs where if you go to members off you can see what members that in that user falls under so administrator falls under these uh, groups and then finance lady falls under these groups employees and domain user so you can see the administrator has more privilege help desk is a group there are no members so we are going to start adding members of this group we're going to follow the same process so it, it is only going to have three members which is user one tier one user two tier one user three tier two these are the only three members in this group I am going to do the same with the system admins group. I will add user 4 tier 2 and the administrator in that group. So user 4 tier 2 will have administrative privileges. As you can see the members, we have two members under that group. I'm going to do something different with the IT department. I'm going to add the entire help desk group into the IT department group since all the members of the help desk group fall under the IT department group. So I right click on the help desk and then click on add to group. Then I type in the name of the IT department. And click OK. The group has been added successfully. Double click on IT department. And now I'm going to add the system admins group since it has the other two members of the IT department, which is administrator and user 4, tier 4. And then click OK. As you can see, Help Desk has three members and it's a member of IT department, which means that all those three users fall under IT department as well. I will do the same with the system admins. It has two users and it's under IT department, it means that those two users will also fall under that department. Join me on the next video where we will look at group policies and organizational units.